On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Listen Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. In this episode of On Drop Rate, we're going to be taking on another type of dragon yet again and the one we're going to be killing for this video is the Brutal Black Dragons. The item we're going to be hunting for is a 1 in 512 and it is the Dragon Spear. The only two things you can actually get the Dragon Spear from, from a normal loot table, is actually Brutal Black Dragons and the Intricate Pouch from the Guardians of the Rift minigame. The only other way to get the Dragon Spear in the entire game is through the Rare Drop table, there is no other way of getting it except from that. Now the Brutal Black Dragons can both give it from the Rare Drop table at a 1 in 21,000 if you do not have a Ring of Wealth, which I'm not going to be using, and it has the 1 in 512. But because it is so extremely rare to see it from the rare drop table, I am not really going to count that in for this video. So let's get into it, see if we can actually manage to get the dragon spear in 512 kill counts of brutal black dragons. So right now the dragon hunter lance is extremely cheap from where it's usually at, and I don't know if really melee is the way to go, but I'm going to be buying it and trying it out to begin with. I'm going to be using the shortcut right here, I'm sure you're familiar with it if you've killed the Brutal Black Dragons before, they are only located in the Catacombs of Current, and instead of having to run quite a while to get to them, you can just unlock this shortcut by going to the Brutal Black Dragons one time, and clicking on the vine that I just climbed down, and I will just start attacking them with the, the best melee gear I have, and let's see how this goes. You know what, I think melee is not really the way to go. With extended super antifires and magic protect, you completely nullify the dragon flame and the magic attack it has, but the melee attacks you can't really do anything about. And of course, if you range it, you can just pray mage and you will take zero damage because you can't get meleeed. So you know what, I'm probably going to be selling this lance and try to get a range setup going. A bit more expensive than the dragon hunter lance, 68 million, but I think it's going to be worth it. Also spent 12 a million on a Twisted Buckler, and this is the setup I'm going to be using. The Crystal Helmet might seem a bit out of place, but the Prayer Bonus is decent, and I did not want to buy an Armadol Helmet right now. Oh yeah, this is definitely the way to go. This is so relaxing. I can just stand here in this spot, and they basically aggro me for a decent amount of time, like they do right there. And then after that, I can just click on them manually, and uh, I can basically chill here with only Prayer Potions for the longest time. Oh, that's the wrong dragon drop table. There are two different ones. The dragon medhelm, longsword, and dagger is one in 128, so pretty common. But there is also the one in 512 ones, which is dragon plate legs, skirt, and the spear, which is the one I want. Okay, I do have one downside to range now. Uh, the ammo that you use here is ridiculous. I've killed like 30 of them, and I've used a hundred... Oh, elite clue scroll! Uh, but I've used like a hundred dragon diamond bolts, and they are 2,400 each, so... That is a bit of an expensive thing. Oh yeah, you can also get these ancient shards, and this is the first one of the grind. They are a 1 in 123 drop rate from these, so I'm probably not going to get a lot of them, but uh, they're very nice. They are used for charging your arc light, which is actually a very good weapon versus demons. And we have the first hard clue scroll. Maybe I should actually mark this, so it's going to be a bit clearer to see when I get one of them. It's been a while since I've done hard clue scrolls, actually, so it's going to be fun to do it. And this Brutal Black Dragon marks the 100th kill so far, and I would say I'm getting around 50 kills an hour, so this should be taking around 10 hours at maximum. Maybe a bit longer with the clue scrolls if I get a lot of them, but uh, not too bad of a grind. Also, I did forget to mention that you can also get a Draconic Visage from the Brutal Black Dragons. It is a 1 in 10,000, so the chances of me actually seeing one is very minuscule, but uh, there is a chance.
Okay, I was not going to talk about this, but uh, I have been getting the most insane RNG on just specifically Dragon Long Swords. Look at this, I've got six of them in 127 kill accounts, and keep in mind the Dragon Medhelm and the Dagger is the same drop rate, but I only got the Long Swords. The streak has ended, the Dragon Bucket Helmet has been obtained. Oh, of course, and now all we're going to be getting instead of the Dragon Long Swords is the Dragon Medhelms. The red pantaloons on the ground, dragon plate legs, 161k, same drop table as the dragon spear with the same drop rate. So yes, that was a missed chance at the dragon spear. And there is also the dragon dagger. I have now got every single dragon item possible from these except the dragon plate skirt and the dragon spear, which is the item we want. I was wondering when I was going to see one of these pieces. These are one in 185 and I'm at 182 kill count. So basically exactly on drop rate. And I do want to do a Scotizo video in the future. So very nice to stack up on some of these. After this Brutal Black Dragon falls, we have hit the halfway point and money-wise we're actually making a decent amount, but uh, as I said earlier, the amount of bolts this actually requires is insane. I bought 1000 and already halfway through the grind, I'm at 260 now and 1000 of them was like 2.5 million GP, so we're not going to be making a ton of money, but we should not go in the negative. Oh my god, look at the pile! Dragon, dagger, dark totem base. How, how, that's like six items in one drop. Ooh, another elite crew scroll. I'll take it. This is a step I have got so many times during the series and I've never wanted to get the farmer's straw hat because I need to do tithe farm for it, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. If depression could be displayed in one single minigame, this would be it. I really dislike this minigame and uh, we just got our first points here, 26 points. And this does take a pretty decent amount of time. It is very slow and boring, click intensive, but we need to do it two more times. And there we go, that is all the points I need to buy the farmer's straw hat, let's go ahead and buy that. Collection log item as well, and we did get one farming level, almost two actually, and I never have to go back here again. Or, I probably will have to, but not for a while. Oh my god, this cannot be real. Right after I completed this and I bought the farmer's straw hat, you can even see that in the chat still. The servers went down. They have all been down for like 24 hours or something like that. And there has been a minor rollback. I am back to 52 points. I have to do this again. Are you kidding me? And there we go. Thank God I am actually done with Tithe Farm. 84 points. We have some points left over now. I kind of got in an awkward position where I only had 80 fruits last time. But let's actually get the farmer's hat for the second time in this video. After this brutal black dragon right here, we are now at 400 KC and we have not seen the dragon spear yet, so it is not looking great. Another item of the same drop rate, which I have not got so far, is the dragon plate skirt and the uncut dragon stone. So hopefully we can actually not get any of those and just get the dragon spear. That would be very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not looking great. This is now kill count number 5. Hundreds. After this one, we only have a maximum of 12 more Brutal Black Dragons to kill. And the money is pretty decent from this. It doesn't take too long to kill this. As I said, roughly it's like 50 an hour. So this is going to be at the mark for 10 hours roughly. And we made 13.1 million. But no Dragon Spear yet. No Dragon Plate Skirt either or Uncut Dragon Stone. So let's get done with the last 12 and see what the verdict is. We have arrived at the end of the grind. This is kill count number 512 and I will after this put all the loot that we got during this grind on the screen. And this is the deciding factor right here. When this brutal black dragon dies, we will know if I won or lost the challenge. Let's go ahead and see what the verdict is. Rune Javelins is not a dragon spear, so we did lose the challenge. I am pretty surprised by the way that we got two elite clue scrolls which we both completed, but only one hard one.
As with every giveaway, I give away at least 10 million GP, and that is what we're going to be doing for this video. But on top of that, I always give away the clue money that I get as well. So we have two elites and one hard clue scroll to add on top of that. And for the collection log, I have 264 hard clue scrolls, 76 out of 134. And elites wise, I have actually not done that many. I've only done 64 and I got 13 out of 59. But let's go ahead and open the hard casket first. And that reward is 103k, giving away all of that, of course. Let's get into the elites. We might also get a master from this. It's a one in five. So let's see if we can actually manage to get one. First one is 111k. Almost as good as the hard. And the last one is no master, but 256k. And so the final giveaway is going to be 10.5 million GP. Just barely. I'll add the 30k on later. The way you win this is going to be on the screen right now. So good luck to all of you guys who want to participate in this giveaway. And so that is going to be it for this episode of On Drop Rate. If you did like the video, then uh, leave a like. It will be greatly appreciated when I make my coffee in the morning. I always think about all the people that like the video. And I think so fondly of all of you. But uh, also, if you want to be updated on the future upload, subscribe and all that good stuff. Hit the bell. You know the things. But until next time, guys, take care.